So if we start first with the rectus femoris, origin is on spina iliaca anterior inferior over here, and then obviously goes down into the uh, tibial tuberosity. And then underneath rectus femoris, we have vastus intermedius, which uh, originates on the anterior aspect of femur and also goes down to um, inserts into tibial tuberosity. And then on the lateral side, we have uh, vastus lateralis, uh, which originates uh, with trochanter tru tru major over here and basically, basically goes down uh, again into tibial tuberosity. On the medial aspect, we have vastus medialis and um, vastus medialis oblique. And now with vastus medialis oblique, it originates in a deductor here, a deductor magnus. And then on the bonus track, we're going to show it a little bit of exercise for this particular muscle as well. Now, our first exercise will be in closed kinetic chain. Closed kinetic chain means that the distal part, in his example, the foot, is not moving. So, David, if you can just uh, show the action, uh, you can clearly see that the ball is being pressed with the fossa popliteus, and obviously the action is extension in the knee joint. So, repetition of this, you can do 10 times and then rest and again and again. So, three times, three repetitions. This is the first exercise in closed kinetic chain. Now, this is the second exercise. It is also in closed kinetic chain. In this exercise, you will see that David goes around 90 degrees. When he goes down, he goes 90 degrees and then up. He's also careful that the knees doesn't go in front of the toes over here. Now, again, repetition can be individualized. It means that if you're strong, you can do 10 repetitions, or if you're even stronger, even more. So this will be uh, for bilateral side, and before we did just unilateral. So this is for left and right quads. Thank you. Now, this is exercise three. Again, close kinetic chain, just one leg, and you can see the action. So, do it, one, two, and obviously you can count till ten. And be careful that the right heel uh, should not jump on. So, David, please, the heel is fixed and just extend the knee. That's it. This is number four, and if you noticed, uh, this is open kinetic chain because the distal part is moving. And this is concentric exercise because his force, in this example, in this case, the quads of David, is stronger than a machine. So this is concentric contraction of the quads muscles. And again, repetition can be two, three times, depends of the individual. And now... David will perform eccentric contraction of the quads in open kinetic chain. You can see that he's trying with his quads doing uh, the extension, but the machine is stronger. So from here, going down, he's trying to be in extension, but the machine is too stronger. And again, repetition can be two, three sets. Now we are on exercise five. You can see it will be, again, open kinetic chain because the distal part is moving and David is performing concentric contraction of the quads. So his muscle, in this case, quadriceps, is stronger than this band. So again, he's trying to do around four or five uh, pushes, pushes and the set is around two three times. And now David is performing the eccentric contraction. Now, I need to um, explain something. Obviously, David's hands are his, but uh, for the example, we can say the hands are like outer force and his inner force is just leg. So he's trying to maintain the extension of the leg, but the outer force, like 
hands are stronger and, and the hands are pushing into flexion. But because he's pushing into extension, but the hands are stronger, this is eccentric contraction of the quads muscles. And now David will perform isometric contraction of the quads. It means that his leg and the arm, so inner and outer force, are equal. So there is contraction in the quads, but absent of movement. So we start with this with the, uh, in the first rehabilitation phase. And as we promised, this is a bonus. Um, as you know, before when we described the anatomy of vastus medialis oblique, we said that it originates from adductor magnus. That's the reason David will perform even a deduction in the hip joint. Please, David, demonstrate this exercise. So, with this exercise, you will maintain the vastus medialis oblique 